Hello, um, this is an informational video for Husky Crates version 1.1.0. This is um, made during that time. Um, <coughs> this is mostly an explanation how to configure your crates. If we look, I hop on the server here, we're going to have to spawn some crates because, oh well, vote in fancy, oh vote's broken. I'll show you a good way to get rid of that. If you have something that's overriding kill, like if you type something and it's like, hey, usage or, or exception, you probably have nucleus. Um, you can kill these little um, displays here if they're stuck by going Minecraft colon kill and then at E type equals armor underscore stand and hit enter and it kills them. If you want back the real ones, then well. You might not be able to do that depending on your situation, but um, <clears throat> another way to kill them is really to reload the plugins, because it might go through and check it. Since this isn't valid now for whatever reason, yeah, um, we have to create a new one. So we'll check the config. We'll see we have command. Oh, sorry, it's on the wrong screen. We have um, the command crate which is, this is the ID, as it's under crates. We have the fancy crate, and we have a mining crate. Now, that these are all independent and have their own settings. So we'll create um, chest command. And all right, we can see our crate types by hitting tab, and it'll list them for us. But I'm going to go with command, and then I'll do fancy. Oh, it went with command again and we'll do mining. So command, fancy, and mining. As you can see, if we reload these, they will all stay working as actual crates. Um, we'll do that armor stand thing again, and I think I have a system set in place just in case the system stops recognizing your crate. Um, but yeah, let's, let's do this. So if you go on each of these, you'll see that it'll complain at you and say, well, you need a key for these. Well, that's kind of self-explanatory. Um, let's go crate, and we'll go key, obviously, and then command, fancy, and mining. And this kind of demonstrates the custom key type system that got implemented. Because you can see the command crate key is actually dirt, and this key will work. And you'll know it'll work because the second lore says crate underscore command. And that's a good identifier for keys, and it really tells you if this is a valid um, crate key or not. Um, it does open some possible vulnerabilities, but I haven't had anything complained about, so that's good. Um, let's look at the config and see how that works. <coughs> so with command, we have... Oh, let's make this font bigger. So we have our command. We, yeah, okay. And we have all of our items, and these are our items. I'll explain the item format in a little bit here, but for now it's just customization. So with the command crate, our name has one of these. We can actually change this to an and sign and it'll work just as well. That was just, it's a remnant of um, old testing because I've used the same configuration for a long time. But yeah, you type the name, use and color codes to format it ideally. Um, yeah, um, options wise, uh, you can set the crate ID pretty simply. You can't override um, the key name at the moment or lore. You simply have to set the key ID, and the key ID can be any valid item that Sponge or well, Sponge Vanilla or Sponge Forge can see. It could be a diamond. It could be a tripwire hook. Really, whatever you want. Um, I do not enforce. Um, no crafting with those items. If you want that to happen, at the moment you'll have to use a um, crafting management plugin. Um, but just try to use like a like an item. But tr okay, try to make your if your crate key is worth more than the actual items inside of your crate, you probably should make a better crate. I'd suggest, but that's just my suggestion. Um, the colors are pretty self-explanatory. It's RGB coloring, which is pretty standard for computers. Um, I can explain that really fast here. Just Google um, RGB color picker, 
and it's really simple even Google has one so just find a color you like like we'll go with this we'll go with like a green like a yeah that color and these are the RGB colors you want to enter um, let me just go like this our RGB colors like I'll do this for testing purposes and explanation we'll go 97 186 and 39 now this should give us this color on one of the bands and if I save the configuration go back to Minecraft and reload the plugin you'll see that the command crate suddenly has that really like ugly green going around it compared to the um, I think it was a blue earlier or something like that that demonstrates that pretty well I'd say um, this works with any RGB coloring uh, doesn't support hex coloring if you want that um, go on the github and put that in an issue or if an issue already exists for it comment on that and let me know you want that because unless interest is there I probably won't mess with that so that's about it for options there's spinner specific options um, the spinner is the whole like if I go to the fancy crate this is the spinner view by the way um, it's referred to as a spinner it could be called the CSGO view but I am just calling it the spinner view because I like that more um, yeah so we'll close out of here again and I'll explain these dampening is basically the amount you want to multiply the um, timer by that determines how long a tick takes so if you have the first click and the first click is like an item shift it's how long it takes for it to cycle to the next item and it multiplies that by that number and it'll continuously go up until it reaches this max clicks so you'll see a hundred max clicks and on the hundredth click it'll select the item and it can vary it can be like 103 or like 197 depends on what the randomizer decides you don't have to have these modifiers you can just simply not have a modifier but this was for testing the modifier so of course I had to have it and if I open this you'll see that it'll spin for quite a while because it has a hundred ticks to go through and you'll see it slowly slows down kind of you know like a real spinner would if you were like spinning a wheel for a game show no you know slow down like anything else and it'll eventually stop and we want to be a sore loser yeah um so we have i'm pretty sure we just got another command crate key for some reason if i check that i'm pretty sure be a sore loser says that yeah, it just gives you another crate key so you can try again, basically. Um, yeah, kind of cool, but, <coughs> you know, not really anything special. So, that's how that dampening and the options work. Those have to be inside of the root of the um, crate, which is not inside of the items array or one of the items. That's pretty much it for those settings. Um, I mean, spinner is pretty self explanatory. There's a um, slots view and a yeah, slots view in the works and maybe even like an instant reward for like just selects an award and then gives it to you right away after you hit it just for you know like you know mindplex kind of does that except it has a delay they don't actually show you a crate view as far as I remember I don't really know so let's let's go over the this uh, view here so it's the items they're pretty it's more comp it's a more complicated part of the whole configuration process. This is version one configuration for the items. There's going to be more revisions, probably maybe. Like maybe Husky data will contain more of these options. Like, I don't know. It doesn't really need to, but <coughs> if we look, you can see that we have count, and count is just the amount of items that are displayed when you spin it. It's a representative mount and format version is just simply a thing to let the plugin know that this doesn't need to be converted you have to have this it's mandatory otherwise it'll fail husky data contains some stuff for the randomizer and reward engine including um, the command to be run when you successfully claim a prize the reward name to display in chat when you win to you 
and the type of reward just in case we aren't sure. And yeah, that's the reward, but the weight is entirely different. It's a bit, it's slightly complicated, but once you really understand it, it's dead simple, really. So weight does not have to add up to 100. It's not a percentage system. All you have to do is things that have higher weights are going to be a higher chance of falling on. So if you have some a bunch of items with one and then one with like 3,000, you're almost always going to land on that 3,000 one and the rest of them are going to be incredibly rare. So let's say I really wanted to land on diamond box a lot. So let's put this as like a ridiculous outrageous number. Actually let's do this on a faster crate because command takes a while. Um, let's go fancy and we'll say that cobblestone we want to get cobblestone a lot that's that's pretty simple let's okay we'll reload and let's spin fancy we should get cobblestone if everything's working properly it's kind of nerve-wracking for me oh we did stoned the stones and that is the one we actually you know got and it gave us the item as well we got stoned the stones as expected which is always nice. I'll throw away my um, broken Minecraft dirt. That's a bug, by the way. Uh, <laughs> um, haven't gotten around to fix it. But yeah, that's, yeah, higher weight equals higher chance. I can do this multiple times, and I'm pretty sure I'll... Man, it's loud. Yep, every time I got stoned the stones, as I really expected. It would take quite a lot more trials to even get anything that's not stoned the stones, to be honest. But yeah, that just kind of just shows that the system's working, I guess. Um, <clears throat> same color effects, but yeah. After that, there's the ID. You can, whoops, you can set the ID of um, your item. You can set the lore, which is pretty simple. You just have a line with text on it. This is um, formatable, so you can have and signs. And the name is also formatable, yep. Um, <clears throat> I don't know why this is also Minecraft dirt. That's kind of silly. I can't remember if you don't have a name if it overrides it or not. Let's let's test that. We'll save it. And let's see if Minecraft dirt still does... Oh, we, we broke it. Yeah. Yep, you're required to have a name, by the way. There we go. Yeah, when, when particles aren't running on your crates, but the... Uh, armor stands are still above them displaying text you can almost be certain that you still have something going wrong in your configuration especially if you hit them and then it starts ch and it changes the armor stand to air check console but yeah so we have all of that and yeah um, I think I went over everything I'll double check Oh, yeah, there's one more thing on the item format that's not in this, I don't believe. Yeah, I don't think it's here. I had one where it was like, had like enchanted planks. I don't remember if it's this one or not. No, okay, well, let's, let's go look. Let's go look at the repository and see if we can find any planks. If I go to working v1 config, Where's my enchantment blanks? I don't know why that has Pokemon in it. I think that was just a consequence of what I was doing at the moment. Um, new item format. That probably will get to it. Yep. Okay. So enchantments, they're based on the actual like name idea of the enchantment, and you can set the level pretty easily. So like, loose sharpness two five five on the cobblestone. I'll set the weight back up so you get it. Enchant sharpness equals two five five. Save. Okay. And hopefully this is valid. It's valid. A little bit fancy. We should get stoned the stones and it should be enchanted, ideally. You know, unless I did this wrong. Which is also Oh, I got dirt. Weird. Oh no, this is mining. Yeah, I think Fancy and mining are essentially the same thing, which kind of caught me off guard. Let's go here again. Yeah, you can see already the cobblestone is enchanted, which is, you know, kind of what we wanted. I mean, 
Oh, I got the diamond. How'd I get the diamond? I guess I was lucky? Let me check the console. Yeah, I guess I was just really lucky. Weird. Um, let's try this again. Should get cobblestone this time. Yep, okay. I was just lucky. Um, that's rare. Okay, I got 255 enchanted stone. That's simple. And cool. Um, yeah, don't, don't invite me to your server, I guess. I will just dominate your crates. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so enchanted stone, pretty simple. Uh, diamond, useless. But, um, oh, this crappy dirt as well. Yeah, the chance system works. I mean, I checked here and I actually selected the right one. I know the randomizer is, you know, perfectly valid. It doesn't have any issues. It actually selects things properly, so we just got a super low number for some reason, which actually kind of is surprising. I didn't expect that to happen. But it can happen on your server, so that's cool to know. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So that's basically how to configure your plugin. Um, enchantments are pretty easy. I'll show you how to find that really quick. If you go Minecraft Wiki, chant. Enchantment IDs, and you go to Enchanting ID, I believe. Yeah. You look for the name here, and that is what the plugin's going to look for. If I double check really quickly, I think it might be under here. No, it's virtual create thing. No, it's not. It's. Oh, it's a parser. Yeah, all of these respect the enchantment name IDs listed here on the wiki. <clears throat> so PC versions also. Um, don't try to use the PE one for durability. No, I'm breaking. It'll cause problems. And number ones are not supported, so please use the name. But yeah, that's that's how you configure your configuration. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure to join our Husky Crates Discord, which I've been active in and recorded a video for just for this purpose and um yeah thanks for viewing this hopefully informative tutorial if yeah bye okay i changed a few things well no i just forgot to mention this in the actual video and it's pretty important stuff if you kill all of your holograms here. If I go kill Minecraft kill. If I, yeah, okay. They're dead now, but you can see the particles are still running. That will not be the case once your server restarts. They will um they will get very dead looking. So if I re restart reload you can see that the crates all of a sudden don't have anything on them. And if you F3 on them, yeah, there's you're not going to get anything from them. What you have to do to fix this is just click on it, and then the plugin will reload the crate. It detects that there's supposed to be a crate there, and then just spawns the armor stand, which identifies the crate. Um, the reason for the armor stands is it's much easier to, um, when chunks are the world's loading, it's easier to pick out armor stands than just a crate sitting somewhere. Because there's a lot more crates than armor stands, especially hidden armor stands. And we don't really want to waste too much time looking for one item in a million block, one block in a million blocks. So, yeah, that's how you fix that if that ever happens to you. It's not like everything's crashing and dying. Just click on a crate, if it gives you an error, um, and you don't know why, just hop in the Discord. I'll help you out if it's not insane. Well, I'll still help you anyway, but yeah. before I mess up, yeah, um, bye. Thanks for watching. That was a terrible outro. Informative video end.